hello I feel like it's been literally like a week since I did kind of my last favorites because I literally did that so late but hello we're doing my June favorites I honestly think this might be my favorite favorites that I've ever done because I've honestly found some really staple and like holy grail stuff this month obviously there's a cheat in here because I always have a cheat I'm really excited so I just want to get straight into the video I've got I've got a fair amount of stuff to actually talk about so I'm just gonna get into it I've got a bit of skincare and then I've got makeup as well so if you want to know what my June favorites are then subscribe if you want to if you don't it's okay I suppose give the video a thumbs up as well and we'll get going okay so first things first I'm just gonna go in with the skincare stuff the past few months I've been like obsessed with just like trying a load of new skincare stuff out and I have found like three things that are now like in my staple nighttime skincare routine so the first one is actually a lip balm that I like to wear overnight if anyone's like watched my videos for like a few months and you'll know that my favorite like lip product is the Kiehl's lip mask it's like the buttermilk lip mask that is my holy grail I love that so much it just moisturizes your lips the best but I found something that I don't know if it actually beats that I'd, it's like equal level at the moment with the Kiehl's one but this is from the brand Biosance and it's the Squalane Rose Vegan Lip Balm and this is a new brand I've never actually tried them before I've heard good things about the brand like the serum and stuff I thought I'd try the lip balm I don't usually like the scent of rose but I actually really like it it's not too overpowering and it's not too florally because I'm not really into that scent it kind of looks like a jelly in the container but when you like apply it onto your lips it just melts and it's just like it's like an oily lip balm if that makes sense and it says that it nourishes and visibly plumps your lips not gonna lie it genuinely does make your lips look a bit bigger it's really weird I don't know if it's just because it kind of makes it shiny but it genuinely looks like you have a bit of like fuller lips and they're just so nourished and so it's so hydrating that this is literally level with my Kiehl's one. I don't know which one I prefer and it's just really good. It's a really really good lip treatment for overnight if you have dry lips just <sighs> and it's vegan of course. It's literally called the Rose Vegan Lip Balm so I'm obsessed with this. Okay so the next two products are from again a new brand that I've never tried before and I actually got sent these a few weeks ago and it's an Australian brand that I've literally never heard of until now. The brand is called Eco by Sonia Driver but this is the skincare kind of range and they sent me like a whole PR package of a bunch of stuff. They sent me like body stuff and then I've got some of their skincare stuff. These two things out of everything I've tried are so good. I like, I kind of want to cry because I've been trying them for a good few weeks of course and I'm really picky when it comes to my skincare because I've got like my holy grails that or like my staples and when I'm like in love with something especially my skincare I like to stick to it and I don't really like to try things that I think might replace my favorites if that makes sense I'm stubborn with what I love but these two so I use these two together and like I said I use them for like my night skincare so the first thing is the super fruit hydrator it's an oil free moisturizer it's for all skin types and it's got hyaluronic acid coconut water and wild harvest plum in it this smells like oatmeal and I kind of love it like it genuinely smells like actual like oatmeal it smells so good and this brand in general they are 100% cruelty free the other ingredients that they put in everything is organic everything's vegan as well and it's a really really good brand that I've literally never heard of and I'm so glad that they reached out to me and kindly like sent a bunch of stuff but honestly these two have like honestly like I feel like they've genuinely helped my skin and changed it especially this so we'll get onto this in a second this moisturizer is so so good it's really lightweight and I don't know what I feel like the thicker moisturizers are I actually don't think they're that moisturizing I like thinner but nourishing ones and this is exactly that also with literally everything from this brand like a little bit of the products go such a long way I just literally just use one pump of the moisturizer and it just it's so so nice and it really smooths out your skin as well but I do use them together this is the main thing but it's kind of advised that you use these two together so that's just what I've been doing so this one is the glory oil and I actually had a look after I started testing it for a few weeks and I just saw like 
how my skin just started to clear up. I went on like their website and I actually had a look at the reviews and like on their Instagram page and this oil genuinely has really really good reviews. This is, it's literally just called the Glory Oil and it's got acai and pumpkin and it's just an all around great oil. It's not like super greasy either. I feel like some, I'm like really picky with my oils now because like I've I've tried really bad oils compared to ones that I like use now. This is a really good one. It's not super greasy and slippery, but it really soaks into your skin and just nourishes it so well. It leaves a really nice glow, but the main thing is, I don't know what is in it that has done the trick, but it's, I don't know, it's just really smoothed my skin out and it does say that it's supposed to nourish and smooth your skin. And I feel like my skin has just recently been a lot clearer and I've noticed it actually in my past few videos when I've been editing. So honestly, these are the only two things I've drastically changed in my skincare routine and I've seen a really big difference. So I think this is definitely a brand to have a look at because I really like what they're about as well. Okay, so that's it for the skincare stuff, makeup. I've got some holy grails here, so I'll get this one out of the way because if you've been watching my recent videos, I have not stopped talking about this, but this is the Patrick Tarte for brows. It's basically just like a soap brows wax kind of thing, and this is the tinted one. They have this one and a clear one. If you're like me and you're slightly concerned and you're looking at this like, Mo, that's brown. You have black hair. It doesn't come off brown, strange. I mean, it does on the brush, but when you put it in your brows, it doesn't come off as brown if that makes sense it just blends into well I've got black hair as we can see it you can't see the brown basically but it just adds a bit more fullness and a bit more volume because it's obviously tinted I do have a clear one from a different brand but this formula is a lot better than that other one the other one is just the original soap brows but this is just it's changed the brow game for me because I've stopped using a pencil I like the more natural and like fluffy brows. I've grown mine out as we can see because it's super hairy but I kind of like it and I just like the natural look. This has been my go-to and I'm obsessed with this thing so. Okay the next thing is actually something that I feel like I should have put in a favourites video a long time ago because it's been one of my favourite face primers for a while and I just I realised I haven't, I don't think I've actually put it in a favourites video but I just wanted to make it a point that this is literally one of my favourite face primers ever. It's the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Fills the Hydrating Primer. This is literally my favourite primer along with my Smashbox Primerizer. I'd say they're like the same but this one does the tiny bit more than the Smashbox one because this blurs your skin and smooths it. And I didn't used to really like primers like that, but this is like the perfect hybrid of hydrating and moisturising your skin while still leaving it a bit tacky, so it's a good primer, it's going to prolong your makeup, but it also just smooths your skin and kind of blurs it a little bit. And any makeup that you put on over top always just looks so good when you use this primer. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention this because I have been using it non-stop. It's just been like a subconscious favourite I guess because I never actually talk about it but I'm obsessed with it and I use it all the wow. time. So. Okay, <laughs> I've only got three more products to go with but I already feel like I've been talking for, no I haven't, I've got four. Let's go with this one because it's what I'm wearing on my eyes. So this is the Mulan eyeshadow palette from Colourpop. This is by far my favourite collab Colourpop have done apart from the Zodiac collection with Kathleen lights because She's my babe, she's my one and only. But apart from her collab, this is the best thing Colourpop have done in my eyes. I know everyone raves about the Sailor Moon collection and stuff, but honestly, I think that might be like an American thing because honestly in the UK, never heard of Sailor Moon. I genuinely hadn't heard of it until I saw the Colourpop collab. Attack me if you will, but never heard of it. But Anyway, we're talking about this guy. Just from the packaging and just, I mean, I love Mulan as well, so I'm being biased because I love the movie. I always have. It's always been a fave of mine and I love the colour story. The eyeshadow palette itself, I just, they're such wearable shades, but you've still got really nice colours in there. I just, I think it's a really well thought out palette. I've seen some of the Colourpop stuff, like the Disney collabs, that some things just didn't really make sense for me, like being a Disney fan, but... This just fully did it. They nailed it. This whole collection, like, it's amazing. I mean, I haven't tried anything else because it's still out of stock, but I just love this so much. And I've been using it a lot. 
I did the eye look that I've got going on today. I did like a black liner, like with my normal liquid. And then I used the shade Loyal, which is this red in the middle. And I just put a bit of the Inglot Duraline, you know, the liquid that you like mix things with. So I just mixed the eyeshadow with a bit of the Inglot Duraline and then kind of went over my black liner. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. I don't know, my viewfinder is so small. But I just kind of went over and did like a red liner. So yeah, love this eyeshadow palette. When it comes back in stock, and if you can get hold of it, try and get it. It's literally the best palette Colourpop I've ever done, in my opinion. All right, these two. I found my favorite foundation ever. 100% this, okay? I have one critique, so. This is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. So this is their hydrating foundation. It's newer than that other one, which I never actually tried. Oh my god, this is so good. Honestly, I don't know how to explain it other than it makes your skin look literally perfect. I'm wearing it now and it honestly just, I don't know what it does. It filters your skin somehow and I just don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what's in here that does it, but it genuinely just, it literally blurs your skin. It just makes it look really, really smooth and I honestly just love it. It also wears so well throughout the day. That's the other thing with it because for me, I've got combination skin, so especially if I'm wearing makeup for a really, really long time, then I will get a tiny bit shiny. I, obviously, I like to wear dewy foundations because my skin is dry a lot as well but I do usually get a tiny bit shiny, so sometimes, obviously, I have that issue. I don't get that with this. This is a really dewy and glowy foundation, but when I tell you that it doesn't budge and there is no shine whatsoever, there's nothing. It's just, it's literally a foolproof foundation, and I have literally fallen in love with it. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, the shade I use is not my right shade, it's the 335 Warm, but I used the um, like colour matching thing on the website, but it, it didn't do me well because it's too tiny bit too warm for my skin, so I'm not bothered because I know I will finish this whole thing and repurchase it again. I know I will, I'm telling you now. So I just mix a bit of my LA Girl White foundation in there. And we're fine. My only critique though is the packaging. Like, I do think it's cute. I love the pump, but I just don't like that there's no cap on it. So it's a bit messy around the front. It's got a pump on the back, obviously, as you can see, but there's nowhere to kind of like lock the pump. So it's been in my drawer and it's got knocked. Foundation's kind of gone everywhere. It's a bit messy around the um, actual, where the foundation comes out. The the hole I don't know how to explain that bit like the actual pump foundation does leak out of that not leak but like if it's been pumped like I've used it and it's kind of gone around the the hole so apart from that best foundation I've ever used okay then with this I've also been trying the insta bake concealer I love the foundation more but this literally is the exact same it will just do the everything I've just said about the foundation this does as well. I do not get creasing with this, even if I don't bake my under eyes, and I'm someone that really does because I'm just a creasy bitch. So this doesn't do that amazing because I can use it when I'm in a rush, and I can't do that with some concealers. The Color Matcha worked for the concealer, just not the foundation, but it's fine. So yeah, I've been using these two together, but I've also tested them separately. So like I've used this with a different concealer just to make sure that it's not one of it's not like a combination that's giving me this whole look even though today is this is both of them on my face they're the best okay one. so the last product is the cheat of the month because it's not a favorites video of mine unless i cheat and just have something that i found like literally a few days ago this is no surprise if you watch my one of my last videos where i tested a bunch of xx revolution stuff could I have waited to put this in my next month favourite course? Did I? No, because I love it and I just wanted to talk about it again. This is the bronzer from XX Revolution. It's in the shade Demo and it's easily just become one of my favourite bronzers of all time. Has it beat my Fenty bronzer? No, but I feel like if this was a tiny bit warmer then it might do. But the formula is honestly so, so good. It's really, really smooth. 
and just blends out really well. I even used it with a cream, like I used cream highlight and cream blush and it doesn't like skip, it doesn't get patchy, it doesn't stick to it or anything. So it works on creams as well and just blends really, really well. And it really lasts all day as well. It's a really long lasting bronzer. So for me, out of all the XX Revolution stuff I tried, 100% my fave. That's it. That's everything, okay? I f I'm sorry that this video was so long, but I found some good shit this month. I don't know where June's gone. Then again, do we know where half of this year's gone? Literally half. Oh my god, it's June. That's the end of the video. I'm gonna shut up now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my favourites today, because I definitely did. If you, As always, if you tried any of this stuff, let me know. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, again, let me know. I will try to answer them, but I don't have many brain cells, but I will try. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and you love favourites videos, because I honestly do. That is it from me. I'm going to go get a snack, as always, and I will see you in my next video.